before the Lord in prayer. Amen. Are there any unspoken prayer requests? Make it known by the raising of your hands. God is acknowledged. Let us all bow our heads in prayer. Whatever the Father, in the precious name of Jesus. Once again, Lord, we'll thank you, Lord, for this privilege for us to come before you, Lord. Lord, we'll thank you, Lord, for this privilege for us to come and approach your throne of grace, Lord, to receive mercy and help, Lord. Lord, we'll thank you, Lord, for blessing us, Lord, together, together, just one more time in this second place of worship, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for the word that we heard upon this morning, Lord. Lord, we'll ask, Lord, that you let that word take root and resonate in our hearts, Lord, and in our minds, Lord Jesus. Let us not be forgetful hearers of the word, God. Lord, we'll ask, Lord, we'll thank you, Lord, for the words we're about to receive from you again from on this evening, Lord Jesus. Lord, we ask you to prepare our hearts, Lord, to receive your word, Lord. We ask you to let your word fall over this ground, Lord Jesus. And Lord, we'll ask, Lord, from all these four requests have been submitted before you, Lord, touch and move in each and every one of them according to your will. And Lord, we come to you your name, the praise, and the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.
the Lord. Amen. Would you feel after him for just a few more moments here? Amen. Would you close your eyes and amen. Give him that praise that they just sung about. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord, for being the Alpha, the Omega. Thank you, Lord, for being the beginning. Oh, hallelujah. God, we give worship to you. We give praise to you. We magnify you. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. Would you give my hand clap? seated. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. The Greek word Amen. 
uh, crystal clear, but sometimes when the Lord touches, amen, amen, you see just a little bit. Revelation and clarity is sometimes progressive. That is why you must remain close to Him until you have clarity. Amen. Jesus, Jesus declares to Nicodemus that unless a man is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Amen. The scripture is clear that, amen, it is very difficult to discern the spiritual principles and concepts of the kingdom from a carnal standpoint. Now the scripture is telling us that it is so important. Amen. If we want to understand the things of the kingdom, then we must be born again. Amen. Amen. And I know tonight that that's something that we've heard over and over and over again throughout the years. Hallelujah. But I rise one more time on this Sunday night just to declare it one more time. You must. Be born again. Hallelujah. There is no way into the kingdom without repentance, without baptism in Jesus' name, and without the infilling of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. It's not just confessing Jesus as my Lord and Savior. You ought to confess Him, though. But it's not just that. Praise God. There is something that happens when a child of God, amen, has entered into the waters of baptism, has turned away from sin and has received the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Anybody here tonight thankful? Amen for the new birth experience. Anybody here thankful tonight for the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ and the baptism of the Holy Ghost. If you feel like that here tonight, would you clap your hands unto the Lord Jesus Christ? Would you lift out a shout of praise? Hallelujah. Because he didn't have to do it, but he did. He allowed you to go down in his precious name. He was more willing to fill you with his Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I'm thankful tonight for the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I rise again tonight. Amen. To thank God for the power. Of the Holy Ghost. Anybody thankful for the Holy Ghost? I said, anybody thankful for the Holy Ghost? Amen. The Holy Ghost is real. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost will help you. The Holy Ghost will guide you. The Holy Ghost will direct you. Come on. I'm not going to get ahead of myself, but I'm going to pause long enough. Amen. To give, amen, an appreciation and an adoration for the power of the Holy Ghost that is on the inside of me. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. Would you one more time clap your hands? And thank God for the Holy Ghost. You must thank be born again. You must be born again. Yes, amen. It's hard to understand spiritual principles yes. from a carnal standpoint. From a carnal standpoint. You have to be careful with the carnal mind. You can begin. Amen. To explain away things. You begin to tell yourself stuff that makes absolutely no sense. But thank God that we have the power of the Holy Ghost. And amen. The scriptures to help us to get an understanding of what is right and what is wrong. 1 Corinthians 2 and 14 says, But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God. For they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. Look at somebody and say, that's why you need the Holy Ghost. Oh, hallelujah. And you don't just need to be one of those ones that have the Holy Ghost the day you were born again. You need the Holy Ghost to be active in your life. Come on, lift your hands and say, activate in me, Holy Ghost. On. I want him, amen, to be active in my world. Hallelujah. You need, shout it, you need the Holy Ghost. John 16 and 13 tells us, how be it, when he, the spirit of truth, has come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, he shall 
that shall he speak and he will show you things uh, to come. Come on. Amen. Thank God uh, for the Holy Ghost. Uh, the clarity and the revelation of the supernatural power of God will not come by human intellect. Praise God. Thank God. Uh, amen. That it doesn't come by way of human intellect. Praise God. Because our ability and our own intellect, praise God, we actually begin to dumb down the God that we serve. Hallelujah. But if we allow the Spirit of the Lord to give revelation, to give understanding, to give insight, to teach us the principles and the truths of the Word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Our lives would be better. Hallelujah. Our families would be better. Hallelujah. Our situations can get better. Hallelujah. Because we have a God that won't leave us in darkness. We have a God that would that delights in taking us out of darkness and bringing us into revelatory truth. And to truth that helps us. Amen. To become better people in the house of God. Truth will help you to talk right. A truth that will help you to behave right. A truth that will help you to get your attitude right. God specializes in bringing us into a place of real truth. We need a fresh wind. 
wind of the Holy Ghost. Come on, somebody ask the Lord to blow. Come on, blow one more time. Come on, Jesus, do it one more time. Come on, somebody ask him to do it one more time. Come on, blow one more time. Come on, send it one more time. Come on, help us one more time. Hallelujah. And God is going to 
release glory into my life. Hallelujah. I don't have it down. And I'm not trying to get it down. All I want is the glory of the only God in my life. Yes. Thank you, Lord. The revelation of biblical truth that comes by fresh wind. The fresh touch of the hand of God that brings clarity in our lives. God, bring clarity. Help me to hear you, Jesus. There are four, in these four verses, there's so many different nuggets of yeah. truth here. Yes. Praise God. Is this all right tonight? Yes. Am I doing okay? Yes. I need to take my seat. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to keep it on. Nope. There's a There's some tremendous nuggets here in this particular chapter. When you dive into the context, this blind man <coughs> did not get into the presence of the Lord on his own. Nope. Hallelujah. They brought him. Help me, Jesus. I said they, they brought him. In fact, there are people that may not ever Get into the presence of God unless somebody brings him. Yeah. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. There are some people who have no idea what the gift of God is. In fact, if they did, guess what? You know where they would be? They'd probably be in the house of the Lord right now. They understood the gift of God. If they understood what it was. Hallelujah. They would be here trying to get a drink. Praise God. Anybody got a drink today? Amen. 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 Oh, hallelujah. He cut out I'm a little thirsty now. Everybody knows we like to get a good drink. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. I ain't talking about alcohol. Hallelujah. Well, yes. Come on, somebody help me. Anybody know what it's like to get a ho good Holy Ghost drink? Yes. Hallelujah. It's, it's not like wine like you suppose. Oh, Hallelujah. Oh, somebody help me preach this song. This is that which is spoken of. Come on. Yes. Hallelujah. I'm thankful I don't have to get to no EJ. I'm thankful, praise God, tonight that I don't have to look at gin and juice. Hallelujah. I'm thankful that I can leave Mad Dog alone. Hallelujah. Come on. Amen. Plan B and coke. I don't need any of that. All I need is to get some of that old wine. Hallelujah. I can get a hold of the Holy Ghost. Amen. That's good stuff to drink. Would you lift your hand up and just drink a little bit? Hold the hope every time you come to the house of God, you ought to get a good drink. Every time you go to prayer, you ought to get a good drink. Every time, come on, you ought to get a good drink of God. Thank God that there are people, amen, that stop by that old well. Hallelujah. Ah, well. I'm, thankful. I'm thankful. I'm thankful tonight for that man that took the time out to stop by the well. Hallelujah. Yeah, we had our ups and downs. Yeah, we had our difficulties. Yeah, we had our, amen, uh, disappointments and misunderstandings. Hallelujah. But I thank God that he took time. To stop by that old well. Hallelujah. Amen. And, 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 and you know the lady at the well, she get a bad rap sometimes. In fact, all the time. Hallelujah. I'm not understanding sometimes the context of scripture and Old Testament views. Amen. She couldn't put herself away. Somebody else had to put her away. Now, why they didn't want her, I have no idea. But they kept putting her away. Praise God. And maybe they died. I don't, I don't know. Praise the Lord. And she probably got tired of it. Hallelujah. You know, sometimes uh, that we can be rough on people. Praise God. And the mess that they're in. Uh, and forget about the mess. Forget about the mess uh, that we got ourselves in, uh, that we needed Jesus or somebody to come by the well, amen, to get us out uh, of our I thank God uh, for somebody that took the time out uh, to go to a well. Come on, amen. I'm going to tell you, I might get the well is not here. The well is out uh, in the field. Uh, the 
other people standing by wells that need somebody that comes to the house of God and hear this truth all the time to go and get them. Yes. 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 Amen. I thank God that somebody put their bias there. Amen. Amen. Frank, I'm trying to quit. I, I, I'm thankful for that tonight. As somebody got rid of their pet peeve for just a few moments. And stop by Sister Vicky to see about some old thug. They just made an exit out of prison. Thank God. They might have didn't think I was going to make it. Amen. I don't know if they really believed in the power of the word. Praise God. But I thank God that they took time, amen, to sit there and to help me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God help me. Amen. When I got in, when I got in the church, amen, it probably was about maybe a year later. Amen. I'm doing the very best I can. I'm up, I'm down. Yes. 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 Set them up. I'm down, I'm up, I'm down, hallelujah, my very first year in trying to live for God, amen, with everything I have. I'm up, praise God, I still have the temper. I'm trying to get free from that old bad temper. I still have the attitude. Come on, I thank God for the word that kept driving that bad spirit, that bad
Hallelujah. When they brought him, thank God for the people that brought me. When they brought him to Jesus, they wanted Jesus to touch him. That's all I want. I want Jesus to touch me. Because if he can get a hold of people, Hallelujah. And when he got a hold of the man, the Bible says that he led him out. Sometimes, go ahead. Go ahead, preacher. Talk about that. That's right. I can, I can be there a long time, but I'm not. He led him out. And sometimes God has got to take you out of your situation in order for him to do something powerful in your life. Because we're so used to everything being so comfortable. We're so used to everything going the way that we want it to go. We're so used to everything happening like we want it to happen. And the moment something begins to change, and it ain't even got to be bad. It's just different. Well, I don't like different. It ain't got to be bad. It's just different. Praise God. God's trying to move different. Don't you know that God could have healed that man by simply saying be healed? God could have healed that man by one touch. But he chose to progressively heal him. And he brought him out. Amen. Of the place where he was most comfortable with. It's hard sometimes. Because we like to stay comfortable. Oh, Jesus, help me. I, I bet quit it. You might stand and do something. Y'all pray. Pray up, push me out of here. Some people won't go to sleep. Hallelujah. Amen. We got so comfortable. Amen. I mean, no, your seat fits you just right. Yeah. I wish I had help. That seat got your indentions on it. Indent. I wish I had help in that. And God forbid that a sinner walk through the door and sit in the spot that you sit in all the time. It's a shame on it. Come on. That's, that's, that's what this church is all about. Uh, amen. For people to come into it. Uh, I know we got enough empty seats, uh, but somebody might like your seat. Praise God. And if they like your seat, can you move uh, to another seat? Uh,
Jesus touch you one more time today? Can Jesus move you out of your comfort today? God wants to do something great here today. I want to go. Touch me by my degrees. The insight came in stages. But he didn't run away from the Lord. He stayed with the Lord. I mean, we'll stay with Jesus and let him bring clarity to you. Yes. That's what I need right now. I need God to be very clear with you. I'm asking him to touch me. Do it one more time. I mean, won't God to touch you one more time? Amen. Amen. If that's you, you're going to make your way to the altar. Touch you one more time.
Lord God has spoke to me about something when I was in the world. I used to drink Mad Dog 2020. Mm. And what happened was I couldn't see. <laughs> the problem with some Pentecostals, you got to get soaked. if you're drinking the right thing. I thank the Lord for having a job. And I discovered a long time ago that it's a blessing to have material things, but it's more of a blessing to have the Holy Ghost working in your life. Church. 
And after you ask the Lord to go to church, you find somebody to talk to about Jesus. And I believe that if you start seeing clearly, God will show you somebody. God will show you somebody that needs Jesus. Praise God. And then you got to have the courage to talk to him. And all you need is your personal testimony. That's all you need is your personal testimony. Now you got drunk on the spirit and begin to see more clearly. Let's thank the Lord right now. Hallelujah. How many folks want to be to the past, please? Come on, put your hands up. We're going to, I need a little help this coming Tuesday. Come on, hallelujah. This coming Tuesday. Praise God. Hallelujah. Don't forget, amen, Brother Alan will send a message out to remind you. Hello. need to see more clearly. The Lord told me some years ago, he said, keep souls before the people. A church will die if the church don't keep souls before the people. It will die. If you keep souls before the people, the church will grow. Praise God. That's why we have our reach. Praise God. Amen. That's why we have our reach. Young people, you don't have to go out. Praise God. Make your own route. You don't have to be out there, sir. Make your own route. Go knock on a few doors. Praise God. Get in your car and drive through the neighborhood, neighborhood and pray. Yeah. And God will use you. And we'll start seeing people walk in that, that door that you never talked to. Simply because God has honored your commitment and your faith. Praise God. Thank you, Brother Allen. Amen. And I got to win somebody to God. Turn to your name and say, I need to win somebody to the Lord. I need to win somebody to the Lord. Amen. Will you clap your hands in the Lord? Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Amen.